Welcome back. For decades, a local man has painted pictures of athletes on baseballs, basketballs, and footballs, and in some cases, he's been able to give his work to them in person. So now he's hoping to get the attention of some of the most well-known Buccaneers. Our Heather Lee shows us how he's hoping to hand off his latest creations to the Super Bowl champs. Even before the Buccaneers' big Super Bowl win. I still got a lot of detail to do in the face. 72-year-old Vietnam vet Michael Freeze, a local painter, was putting Gronk and Brady's faces on footballs. Brady's probably 30 hours. Gronk's going to end up about the same. I mean, the detail is ridiculous. He used pictures of the two posing at the beginning of the season in the team's new uniforms. It's meticulous work that Freeze has been doing for decades now, a passion he embraced on the side while working full time for the state. I was an original 1976 Bucks fan when they first started the franchise. I, I painted up a painting of uh, Leroy Salmon. It's actually inside. His talent is self-taught. He tried taking two art classes in college. It was art appreciation. I didn't appreciate it. It was a book about this big, about that wide, and about that thick. The most boring class I ever took, I got a D in it. In the 90s, he painted a series of basketballs ahead of opening night for the movie Space Jam with Michael Jordan. There's Michael's autograph. He's also painted portraits for music superstars. That's how I get to meet people, you know, like Tim McGraw, Faith Hill. I painted for Garth Brooks when he did four concerts in a row in Tampa. And he's hoping to do the same thing this time around, handing Gronk and Brady their football portraits in person. He just needs to get their attention. When Gronk f scored his first touchdown, I was at my buddy's house. I go, Gronk! Well, that could work. In St. Petersburg, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.